What, um, speaking of making the audience laugh, you got your big break, I guess, on Last Comic Standing. Uh -huh. Was that, was that nerve-rattling at all to think that your comedy was going to be judged by a bunch of people sitting on their couch at home watching TV? I had no problem with that. I just, um, as far as the competition goes, I mean, I was the only comedian on my season to get, um, Standing O's every performance and to do different material every time. And when I was done, they chanted my name for seven minutes. Was that the biggest moment of your comedy career to that day? At that time, yeah. Yeah. And um, I uh, had to go back out and calm them down. And so everybody in the room thought I won. All the comedians thought I won. And if you'll see the video, you can watch it on YouTube, um, of the finals. After my set, every comedian is out of their head. I mean, they're they're like they're performing with their head down because they think they got beat. And the truth was, I beat every one of them but one. Um, that fan, and he's a good guy. He really is. But he got portrayed as the victim. That I, it was a great experience. And and for everyone that that comes up and tells me I got robbed on that show, I just have to say, you know, I I'm living the dream, man. I mean, I've got uh, my I have two albums that have gone platinum. I have uh, uh, my new album, uh, Prime Cut, that was released in November. Uh, we'll uh, go platinum before the summer. I've got, I'm taping another one this week, uh, another special. I've been on so many networks. Uh, I perform all around the world, not just here and, and not just for Americans through the USO. I've been to Iraq, I've been to war zones all around the world. And, and have, oh, I mean, who gets an opportunity like that? You know, I, I'm a little kid from Arkansas. I'm the youngest of, of um, you know, of four. I was raised by a single mother, you know. I remember, it's so crazy now that I, I, I never had a comma in my bank account before I was 32, <laughs> ever.